In this exercise, we will learn the Select and Mask option. This is a new feature that was introduced in Photoshop. By using the Select and Mask option, we can select and cut out any subject in an image. Okay, let's see how this tool will work. For example, if I click on the Rectangular Marquee tool and draw a shape, something like this, here we can see the Select and Mask option. Just click on it. Okay, here we have some view options. We have onion skin, marching ants, overlay, black and white, and black and white on layer. So let's choose the overlay option to view it. Now we have some more options. We have feather option. Let's increase it. We can see the edges of our shape are now blurred. And we can increase the contrast. Contrast is the opposite of feather. It will make the edges hard and sharp. And here we can shift the edges in and out. And here we can clear all the settings. We can also invert it. Here we have the output settings. We can save a layer as a selection, as a layer mask, a new document, or a new document with a layer mask. Let's choose the selection option and press OK. Now we have a new selection. If I fill it with white by pressing Shift in the backspace, we will see the results of our selection. Okay, let's undo that and make a duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl and J for your shortcut. Now, if I go to the Select menu, we can also choose the Select and Mask option from here. And it has Alt, Ctrl, and R as its shortcut key. Just click on it. Let's say that we want to remove the sky and that mountain from the image. So let's remove it. We're going to choose the Overlay option. And here we can select the Quick Selection tool. And we can change the size also from here. Or we can press the left and right bracket key. And now just click on it and make a selection of area that we want to remove. For now, just ignore the hairs that are selected. For example, if we wrongly click on an area that we don't want to remove, then we can press and hold the Alt key to recover it. OK, let's save that selection with the layer mask from here and hit OK. Now we have a layer that is masks. Let's put any background in the back layer. Just go to the adjustment layer and choose a solid color, maybe a white color, and drag this layer underneath it. We can see that our selection is opposite. Let's invert it. Just click on Mask and press Control i to invert it. Now we have perfectly changed the background, but we still need to fix the hairs. OK, now let's fix it. Select Mask on the layer. And then go to the Select menu and choose Select and Mask. OK, now we can see here the Refine Edges tool. Let's change the view mode to white. And then let's select the Refine Edges tool and click and drag it, something like this, from the inside to the outside. Here, we have the decontaminant option, and we can check this on because it will keep our edges refined flawlessly. We now have perfectly cut out the sky background here. Okay, in the next exercise, we will learn the ruler and guideline option.